In this lesson, we're going to look at staying on top of the feedback and reviews and knowing that they've been submitted by somebody and then what you can do about those. What we're going to do is now head back into Forminator, click on Forms, and we're going to firstly open up our rating form. So that's the How Did We Do form by clicking on the Edit button. And we're going to come down to the Email Notifications option. So click on this one here. You can see there's already an admin email set up. Forminator will automatically have that one in there for you, but we want to make sure it's configured the way we would like. So we're going to click on edit. And you can label this whatever you would like to. This is just for your own benefit when you're in the back end of Forminator so you know who this email is being sent to. And you can customize the subject that you receive here. So when you receive the email from Forminator, uh, what is that email going to look like when it hits your inbox? So I'm going to change this to be feedback received. And this is the automatic message that it's got in there for us. You've received a new website form submission. So that's not the most useful of descriptions. So I'm going to put here, you have received For now, we're going to leave this as all fields and we can leave this message was sent from this site's URL. They'll automatically put in the URL of your website. That might be a useful thing. So we'll leave that there. And we want to come across here to check the recipients. This is set to elemental.idropper.gmail.com because that's the email address I've got associated with this WordPress website. You can leave that there. You can also add other emails in to receive this notification. You probably don't need to worry too much about any of these advanced settings, but if you wanted to, you could put in here from website feedback, for example, you can change that to whatever you would like. And there's conditions here as well. So if you would like to receive a different email, depending on whether the client has submitted a one, two, and three, or a four and a five, you could do that here. So for example, if they leave a four or a five, and you don't need to know about that, you could click on don't send if any of these conditions are met. So you could click on here, click on if radio one is a four or is a five and click add. That's going to mean that if a client submits this form and they select a four or a five, you will not receive this email notification. So you're only going to receive notification if they've sent it as a one, two or three, which probably is most important. So we click update on that one there. And then what we'll do is come into the form for the we're here to help feedback form. And we want to make sure that you're receiving that feedback as well. That's pretty important. So we're going to, first of all, let's come down to the behavior and just make sure that this is doing what we want it to do. So the inline message, this is the message the user will receive once they've completed the form. Click on edit behavior. Let's change that to thank you for and we've got here an option to auto close this message after five seconds. Uh, you can change that to 10 seconds, anything you would like here. Again, there's conditions up here that you can change if you need to and click apply. So that's going to be a little bit better for them when they've completed the form and the email notification. Again, we want that to come to us as the admin. So we can click on here to edit the form. And again, let's change the subject of the email to say feedback received. And I will leave this as all fields because they have the option to submit their name, email and phone number and you want to make sure that you're receiving that information so that you can contact them back if they've asked you to. The recipient, again, we want that to be ourselves. You can add more recipients if you would like. And we're not, we don't need to change the conditions or anything for this one here. Now, if you would like the user to receive the email, an email notification as well, you can add another notification here and you could say client notification. Could say thank you. Thank you for your feedback. And this is something that you don't have to do. 
but it's an option if you'd like your clients to know that they've been heard. I might just put all form fields again, and then you would put something like, you know, regards from the team, and you could put anything you like there, obviously. The recipient, in here we need to come in here and set this to be the client's email address. So we click on insert form fields and you can select here email address that's going to be sent now to the client if they filled out the email form. Again, you don't really have to fill anything out in these advanced or conditions section, but you might like to put in here your business name. So let's just say I uh, drop a academy. You could put in an email address in here if you like to show up as the from. I tend to put no reply at so that they can't reply directly to that email. And again, you don't need to fill out any of these others if you don't want to. You can click add. As with everything, we need to make sure that we update that. 